Hello, uh, my name is Anthony, and right now I'm going to walk you through a simple Xcode tutorial to help you learn how to use interface or IB outlets for your Mac OS X applications. So we're going to start by opening Xcode. Once open, I'm going to go to File, New Project, and we're going to go down to Cocoa Application. Um, just interface builder outlet testing. A little long, but no, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and we have created a project here. Let's make it a little smaller to fit the screen size. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna, as I run through this, I'm gonna assume that you watched the uh, my first simple Xcode tutorial uh, screencast. If you didn't, you can find it at YouTube. My name is Mazna360. <laughs> And the title is Simple Objective C slash Coco Xcode Tutorial. All right, that's it. Okay, so we're going to open up mainmenu.nib. Okay, so um, like last time, the first thing we're going to do is just make our app controller class our own class. And then we do not have inspector open. Here's the inspector. Okay, so now, last time we worked with actions. This time we're going to work uh, with both outlets and actions. So uh, we're going to create three outlets because we're going to create one for a text field, one for I'm sorry, actually no, only two. One for a text field, well, two for text, two text fields actually. Um, they're going to be one's going to be an input text field, and one's going to be just a regular system font text. <laughs> So the first one we'll just tell it input text field and the type you can uh, leave it as ID because ID is a object object type doesn't really matter but we're just making things a little more specific go down to NS text field and next one we'll make it system actually yeah system font text that's good and same thing NS text field. Okay, so now that we have our outlets, uh, we're going to go to Actions and we're going to create for a button, uh, Send Text. So now we're going to add our UI elements to our main win uh, window here. First we're going to add uh, under the Text Inputs and Text Field uh, palette from Text Field. Okay, so we have two text fields here. One's an input, and one's a oh, sorry, a regular text field. I'm just gonna uh, fail to do this before. IB outlets are just a way to connect UI elements to UI elements that you create in Interface Builder to your to your code when defining your class. That way, you can interact with them from your code as well as from inter, uh, from Interface Builder. So uh, we're gonna also add a button here. Actually, put it on the right side, and just make it send. Okay, so let's last time instantiate app the app controller class, and now we're gonna co connect. Uh, first, we're gonna connect the app controller to the necessary IB outlet. So we're gonna you can hold down your control key and dr uh, click and drag to the text input. And we're going to connect that right to input text field because logically that's what it's for. And then we're going to do this again, but connect to the system font text. Okay. And now we're going to go the other way. We're going to drag, hold your control key, and uh, drag from the send button to the app controller instance and connect to the send text action. So now we're going to again create the files, add them to our Xcode project. and here we have the files. So now we're going to go ahead and edit these files the way we need to. As you can see here, upon creating the files, Interface Builder has kindly added for us the IB outlets and the method. Now IB outlet, uh, this right here, it's just a keyword. It's it's really, I'm going to guess, I'm not positive, but that 
uh, when building the project, Xcode simply just removes it because the it will the application will work just the same if that's not even there. It's just a note to the developer that it's an IV outlet just to help you know separate things. So um, we're going to define the send text action, and I'm just want to we have the two text fields here. So we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to take the text input it in this text field and output it in this text field. So we're going to take this value and set it to this value. And it's as easy, it's really as easy as that. It's just because we've connected it through Interface Builder, we can very easily just take the text from this and put it into that. And it's really just that simple. So now we're going to go to the M file and we're going to edit the send text action, the action that will be executed when the send button is pressed because that's what we connected to. So, uh, okay, we're going to NS, actually, you know, yeah, well, just to make things more clear, we'll do the NS string input text string equals input, what did I name it? Input text field. Input text field. Uh, no, sorry, string value. And this here, See, we are sending a an, a message to the input text field object, the input object. We're sending it uh, this sh a method or message titled string value, and what what this method does is return an ns string instance of this of of the a str ns uh, string instance which contains the string value of the text field at the time that this method is called. <laughs> So now that we've got, we've grabbed the text, we're going to set it. We're going to output the text in the other text field. So system font text set string value input text string. So as you can see here, we're taking the ns string that we've declared here, and we're setting the system font text. We're setting that string value to input text string. So we have, we're have we sending a message, this is a, the uh, action or method that's part of NS text field is set string value and it comes with one parameter which is an NS string instance of the text we want to set it equal to which in this case is input text string. So uh, let's do it. Build an application. Save all. Let's give it a shot. Testing. And there we have it. So once again, the text inputted here is being grabbed through this and set to this here. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed.